it's Diego Doom here. Today I'm bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing Ultra Act Andromelos. Andromelos comes from the 1983 show Andromelos. After a fierce battle against Ace Killer, Ultraman Zoffy is thrown into a black hole. Ultraman Zoffy is saved by an Ultra named Benoit, who is Andromelos. Benoit gives Ultraman Zoffy his armored suit known as the Cosmotector armor, making Ultraman Zoffy the new Andromelos. Now, with the new powerful armor and the new title of Andromelos, Ultraman Zoffy must continue to protect the universe and stop the evil being, Judah. Be sure to check out the 1983 show Andromelos. It's a nice show. Ultra Act Andromelos is another fantastic release in the Ultra Act line. Andromelos has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. Let's jump right into it and take a look at Andromelos himself. Andromelos has a fantastic range of articulation. First, let's start with the head. We can look up, down, left, right. The shoulders have a great range of rotation. The shoulders can rotate a full 360 degrees. The shoulder pads can move independently from the shoulders. The shoulder pads themselves are actually on hinges. The arms can come up 90 degrees. We have an entire arm swivel. We have very nice double jointed elbows. The fists are on ball joints so we can tilt and spin these freely. In the upper chest, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side and lean side to side. In the waist, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side and lean side to side. The accents on the hips are on ball joints. We can flip these all the way up so they do not hinder any leg articulation. For the legs, we can kick forward this much, backward this much, and come out to the side this much initially. If we pull down the hip joint, we can increase the range of motion in the legs, and now we can kick up a lot higher, backward more, and come out to the sides a little bit higher. We have a thigh swivel. We have very nice double jointed knees. The feet can tilt and swivel. We also have some ankle pivot action going on. And then finally, the toes are articulated. When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, Andromelos is absolutely fantastic. Starting from the top, we have the helmet. The helmet has a nice sharp yet smooth sculpt with an emerald green paint app and metallic red accents. The visor has a semi-translucent glossy black paint app. Under the right light, we can see an ultra face underneath. I can't really tell if this is Zoffy's face or a custom Benoit face sculpt. The mouth has a nice prominent chiseled sculpt. Moving down, the chest has a very nice large armored sculpt. Going down the center of the chest, we have a fluted metallic gold pattern that leads to a translucent yellow jewel in the center of the chest. The shoulder pads have an angular sculpt. The gauntlets look great with the same emerald green paint app as the rest of the armor with metallic gold accents. On the top of the hands, we have our Cosmo crosses with a metallic red paint app. On the hips, we have our translucent red accents where the double saber emerges from. We have more emerald green armor plates on the shins with gold accents. Finally, we have the feet with a very nice armored sculpt with more Cosmo crosses on the toes. For accessories, first up we have Andromelos' four pairs of hands. We have a pair of open hands, relaxed hands, chopping hands, and holding hands. Each of the hands have a nice metallic silver armored sculpt with metallic red Cosmo crosses on the top of each hand. The hands attach via ball joints. Now, with the new hands attached, we can use any hand combination to match our favorite dynamic pose. Next, we have our alternate chest plate. On this particular chest plate, we have a cool metallic gold medal with red accents. Now, I have to admit, I'm not sure of the significance of this medal. In the comments below, let us all know the significance of this medal. To attach the alternate chest plate, all we have to do is simply remove the standard chest plate and insert the new one. Now, Andromelos can proudly showcase his prestigious medal. Next, we have the double saber with a nice sharp sculpt and metallic silver paint app. The blades have some very cool etched in impressions. 
we can easily transform the double saber into the double lancer by connecting the blades to the extension pieces and then connecting the extension pieces back to the center grip. Now, with the double saber or double lancer in hand, Andromelos can cut down his foes. Finally, we have the accessory stand piece. To attach, remove the panel in the lower back. Now on this figure, it can be a little bit hard to remove, so you might need a tool to pop it out. Once you remove the back panel, insert the accessory stand piece. Now, with the accessory stand piece attached, we could put Andromelos into seamless jumping and flying poses. Now one last thing before we go, my good friend Daryl Banks asked if we could swap Andromelos' head for Ultraman Zoffy's head. It turns out we actually can swap the heads just like we saw in the promotional photos for this figure. To remove the head, all we have to do is pull up on the neck assembly of Andromelos. Whatever you do, do not pull from the head. The head seems to be on some type of special hinge joint, and if you pull up on it, you may break the head. Once you have your Andromelos head assembly removed, grab your Ultra Act Ultraman Zoffy head, neck included, and then plug it into Andromelos' body. Now with this simple head swap, we've revealed the true identity of Andromelos. Now that we have the accessories out of the way, let's do some size comparisons. As a whole, Andromelos turned out to be absolutely fantastic. The sculpt is very well done, the paint-ups are clean and crisp, the accessories are awesome, and Andromelos is fully posable. I really like how they narrowed down the sculpt a bit to make Andromelos a bit more proportionate. In the original show, Andromelos' armor is so large, it makes him look bloated. I absolutely recommend picking this figure up. Now be aware, Andromelos is a web exclusive, but to much surprise, he's really not all that expensive. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. To see the previous review or more Ultra Act reviews, click the links on screen right now. Be sure to check out my new Patreon page. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Follow me on social media, and remember, like, comment, share, and subscribe.